Do you want to build a career in filmmaking? How do you prepare yourself for a career in this industry? That's exactly what we're going to answer in this episode of the Zista Podcast. Welcome to the Zista Podcast, where we invite industry leaders and academicians to answer questions that students have within a specific subject area. In today's episode, we're going to focus on filmmaking. And joining me today is Tushar Singhal. From the time you started, you know, you've come up a long way, you know, and today you are the chief assistant director. Uh, you're also a script supervisor. And I, I, I'm intimately familiar with some of the movies that you've worked in, you know, including uh, starting from Vicky Donor, coming all the way to, you know, Sardar Uttam. And, and in between, there have been so many movies that have come, uh, like iconic movies like Piku, Pink, mm. October, mm. you know, Gulabu Sitabo. Uh, Madras Cafe uh, and and it's just been such an amazing body of work that you've actually had a chance to be associated with you know yeah yeah no so see um, any film is born from the insides of the maker of right. the maker uh, the director or the writer right you know and and we as part of the crew somehow uh, make that ours for example uh, for me uh, every film has given me so much in terms of my understanding, whether it was Vicky Dono and how stress was really affecting uh, men, you know, or uh, Madras Cafe, uh, looking at an episode in our history with one of the brightest, youngest prime ministers and his assassination. Right. And uh, also to discover that we as a nation till date ha- haven't really solved it, you know, as a judiciary. That's true. You know, and, and then to take this film and, and be part of the research, be part of uh, going deeper into what really happened. And also, uh, film is not just, uh, it's, it's not a documentary, right? It's not just a recreation of what happened, but it's, it's also bringing your own perspective to it. So to also understand what my seniors and bright minds, uh, the writer, Shubhendu, uh, the director, Shujit Sarkar, the pr- perspective they had about that incident. You know, that was a big learning for me. Um, uh, so, uh, it made me understand, uh, you know, my own country a little better um, and our history. So, um, yeah, I, I think every film has given me something uh, that has stayed with me, you know. I don't think it's really, cinema is really about designations. It's about what you want to say and how you say it. You know, it is an art form, I believe. And um, saying something you would like to in, in a creative way, in a way that touches someone else, is the most satisfying feeling. You know, uh, you were there for my play, the one on partition. And, yes, yes. And uh, for me, that even though the medium was theatre, but to explore that uh, that story, you know, and and to see some of the responses, was very satisfying. So I think um, as an artist, as someone who believes in the medium of cinema and in storytelling, it can be a very satisfying journey for anyone involved um, in that space. And I've seen young boys and girls nowadays, it's, it's not uh, that tough. To, they just pick up the phone and they shoot and uh, <laughs> they're telling powerful stories. It's, it's so beautiful to see. I know. I, I think there's been a complete... <coughs> Uh, democratization I can say of <clears throat> the entire way you go about filming you know because earlier back in the day only people with good gear could you know create good content but I think there's such a big indie movement such a big you know focus on user generated content that uh, people have become far more open and receptive to you know even even uh, videos that may not have been produced so professionally and uh, I think that's perfectly okay because actually that allows people to just pick up a mobile phone, uh, go out there and express themselves in very creatively beautiful ways, capturing some amazing stuff. And I think uh, the entire YouTube business model is based on that, right? I mean, so many of us are just shooting some really kick-ass videos with fairly basic gear and populating that content on uh, you know platforms yeah. like YouTube. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also uh, coming back to cinema, which is a longer format, and right. and see as an art form, it it is a visual and sensory experience that we try and give. 
um, and it is meant to be consumed in a certain way. Um, which is why uh, one of the things I make sure I try and do is go to film festivals. So because the reason I do that is you get to meet the filmmakers, the people behind that cinema and um, that interaction is very encouraging, especially first time filmmakers for, for me. Uh, because the one common thing I get to hear is uh, don't be afraid of making mistakes. Um, you know, uh, own what is. Uh, because if you try and perfect hmm. your first film, what you'll only be left with is probably two minutes of it. You know, so just to um, let yourself lose and enjoy what's 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 becoming, and and not try to make it perfect is something that uh, I find every film festival I've been to, whether it's ID, SFFK at Kerala or IFI at Goa, I only come back encouraged um, and, and you know, wanting to express my own voice um, in that space. Fantastic. So I, I was really looking forward to this episode, Tushar, and I actually prepared a few questions. I hope you don't mind if I go, go for ahead it. and ask you. Go for it. You know? uh, I would love it. That, you know, maybe even after the session, if some of the st students or professionals or, or those wanting to be part of this right. um, write to us and I would be happy to answer, uh, you know, in whatever form later. Sure. I think yeah. that's so kind of you. And uh, we're definitely going to be, you know, uh, this video is going to be going live on YouTube. So if you like what you're seeing, if you'd like to ask Tushar some questions, you can most certainly post them uh, as a comment and we'll make sure to get them across to Tushar. Yeah. And he's saying he's being really kind enough to say that he'll take some time. That's the to purpose them. for me to be here. You know, I respect right. what you're doing, Amit. And um, one of my purposes is to break that channel between, let's say, professionals and and those who are yet students. Right. And just give them a a better idea, purely from experience, not from any high seated platform. Sure. But purely from experience of what it's really like. Yes. Absolutely. So let me yeah. take up my first question. You know. The, the fact that you really worked with some amazing directors and I think that itself has been a source of great learning. So uh, do you think that, you know, would you agree with that, that viewpoint? Um, I, I think it's um, at the early stages, it is the most important thing. Right. To find yourself um, someone whom you resonate with, uh, whose cinema resonates with you. See, um, again, I take the liberty now to call myself an artist and uh, I think that's something each one of us should start looking at. Uh, often we get too involved in uh, trying to bracket ourselves, mm. oh I'm an actor, <laughs> oh I'm a writer, I'm, right. I'm a, you know, a camera person but no I think most of us know we are beyond that you know. Um, so why I say that is I think it's very important to know what kind of artists resonate with you, uh, specifically filmmakers in this case, uh, resonate with you. Um, you know, there could be a Sri Ram Raghavan who has a dark sense of humor, uh, but so unpredictable and so in entertaining to watch. For me, Andhadun is one of the best films in, in the last decade, you know, because I haven't been so surprised, I haven't laughed so much and I haven't been so scared. All <laughs> of it, you know, in the same film. Right. You know, and... Uh, just literally edge of the seat. So, uh, so yeah, if that's your space, I know that's not my space, but I, I, you know, I think at this stage for each one of you is, is important to know yourself a little better because if you know yourself a little better, you'll also know what you're going for. If you know, okay, uh, these two or three are my spaces. You may not know the specifics right now, but, um, to even broadly look at what directors you would like to work with. I know it's not easy to get to them, uh, but that is still secondary. No one is more than three or six calls away today, you know. Um, uh, and and I, I would want to take an example of a young colleague I met. This was during the Mumbai Film Festival at Mami. Okay. And, um, you know, usually it happens to me after a good film, I just need to speak to someone. Okay, I just need to, wow, kya mazedar tha wo yaar. Right. So I spoke start speaking to this guy Ashwin. And just last week, on his own, he's made his first feature film. Awesome. Okay. When he when he had met me, 
He told me he has an engineering background and he's made nine short films which are on YouTube. Okay. We were about to start Pink at that time. Uh, my chief assistant director was Prashant. I was handling script. And I told him, Prashant, we're making our team. I told him, Prashant, let's meet this guy. And he was on board. And he worked on Pink with us. Oh, wow. That's amazing. That's all he had done. Nine. I mean, it's a lot. But he had done nine short films. There was no uh, qualification as such. Right. But the passion was there. The honesty was there. The, the desire to learn and, and devote yourself to a film. Because a film can be demanding. Working in a film is a marathon. And, but we saw that. And we took him on board. You know, um, and just last week he invited me to the premiere of his first feature film. What a what a awesome feeling that must be, yeah. you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So so uh, coming back, I think um, I think just know who you are, who you are, and it's possible today with the gadgets. Don't try and make the best film. Try and make an honest film. Make mistakes, and. Uh, it will give you something that nothing else assisting you know sitting with the best artists nothing else will give you what your first short film will give you that's amazing and i think that's yeah. really good advice because you're really encouraging uh, students to just go out there let go of your fears let go of your inhibitions and just go for it and, and i think and that's it's a really sport it's an art uh, so you yeah. know as a musician i mean you you gotta sit with your guitar Correct. <laughs> you know, you can't fantasize about it. Right. You have to spend the hours. Absolutely. A filmmaker needs to shoot. A filmmaker probably needs to write or, or make a storyboard or know his shots. You know, he has to make the film. Right. Uh, he can't just keep watching films, right? If I want to be a cricketer, I can't keep watching cricket, right? I have to go and... I mean, all of us have watched Sachin Tendulkar, right? Yeah, so why don't we play like him? Yeah. So yeah. you have to go and hit the ball. <laughs> Correct. So that's, that's all I'm saying that as yeah. an artist... Uh, and you know, most artists will ultimately say the opposite, which is that they're not looking to make great art. They're just wanting to sit in the studio and, and be with the process. Right. They just want to, something's coming, it's a compulsion, I have to get it out and I will make. Bana to bana, nahi bana to theek hai. Right. Right, so I think we give too much importance to uh, this dream for an Oscar. It's not worth it. Dream to make the best film that is yours. You know, that's what I think. Thanks for that. Now, I, I also want to ask you, Tushar, which directors, writers and, you know, films have you been influenced by? And uh, I also wanted to ask you that when you're looking at, at movies, you know, when you're looking at a film, what is it that you are actually absorbing? What are you learning? So I'll answer the uh, latter because it's a more fun question. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm looking for, I think, just to be uh, surprised here. I'm looking to be like, oh, I didn't see that man. This guy makes me laugh or, or wow. You know, just that, uh, just that feeling. Okay. Because it's uh, a little rare. Ho gaya. Mm. Uh, when you're in the film business and you've seen yeah. so many films and... and Sometimes they are a little methodical, they are a little A, B, C, D, they are a little following a graph and you know very head. But when it's feeling, when there's something deeper driving, uh, there is a sense of unpredictability. Mm. There is a sense of uh, taking me somewhere I didn't expect to go. You know, and it's a feeling, it's not from the head. And that is something I enjoy. Yeah, I... I, I I think it's cinema is so universal, no? There is no A, B, C, D that can define good cinema. Some of them could be just silent films, uh, like Terence Malik. Or no, they're not silent films, but they're very visual films. You know, they're just driven by visual and sound. And, and it's not necessarily a character graph or journey, a point where he has to choose and mm. conflict mm. and, you know, a lot of head stuff. But no, he's just giving you a feel, a sense. Mm. And and uh, that is how a lot of filmmakers also look at cinema, you know, uh, which is just purely sensual, mm. you know. Um, uh, so, yeah, uh, I think it's a very varied language to define uh, because we are very varied. That's true. You know, I so think there, there's a different kind of movies out there for different kind of people. And, uh, and we also are... People with so many shades, no? Right. 
I will love a, a documentary one day which is very heady and I will love a film which is Terence Malick which is very visual and there are hardly any words and there is no real graph to the story but I am completely in it so uh, you know um, I think that's that's the beauty of it also and that's why I think it's important for each one of us to discover our own voice and that discovery will only happen in the doing not in the head correct so yeah where are we I think that's a uh, you know good rock solid advice don't be an armchair thinker uh, be a <laughs> go out there and start doing something absolutely so uh, this is a slightly no but not even out there okay film starts with in here right you'll see most of the filmmakers when they make their first film now they're the most honest and sort of naked films mm. because they're starting with mom dad grandmom mm. ghar mm. what happened here mm. you know they're starting with their own childhood what moved them right memories right you know so actually it's it's um, actually going within my stories always have an element of me or always have an element of what has touched me you know it may take a different form in terms of holding on to other things to tell it it's not autobiographical but it has a very strong element of me or very strong element of something that affects me right only then will it be honest right otherwise it's not going to be uh, otherwise it's going to be craft Makes which sense. is also fine which is also fine people do well doing craft also but i think true art true creation true expression comes from within something that has affected you touched you moved you and to let that out and and that magic shows when you have like my director i think every film has a very very strong part of him in it hmm you know madras cafe is something he lived with sardar udham he lived with for 21 years when he visited jallianwala bag you know he decided he's going to make this film because he saw while sitting that in, in in that bag at that time it was raw he saw um, an old man or woman just on on a wheelchair and touching that wall where there were bullets the bullet marks and that moment he decided he's going to make that film so it's personal you know uh art is personal and everyone has it i mean everyone has a childhood everyone has their sources of pain the sources of what they want to reach out into and express even sources of wonder of yeah. wonder of yeah. wonder of course yeah. harry potter yeah you know what a world Amazing. what a world uh you know so many so many lord of the rings wonder just just on a ring you know the <laughs> ring that makes you really look at your dark side or speak the truth or and go there with it yeah. awesome so i'm going to move to my next question which is something which <coughs> i think uh, students may or may not know about uh, so could you touch upon you know maybe the different departments or the areas of work within filmmaking because when everyone thinks of filmmaking they they may have a view and nine times out of 10 maybe a little myopic so could you help us expand Milky that horizon yeah. so i'll start very basic way sure uh, traditional way so i think there are some very good reputed institutes in our country starting with uh, ftii uh, sr ftii uh, whistling woods uh, that have their two years three years courses um, of course they're all uh, you get there through entrances Uh, maybe you have to make something right why you want to do cinema but what i respect is the culture what i respect is the exposure that they give you towards cinema taking you through the historical journey of cinema there is a lovely course called film appreciation not being from film school i started to appreciate cinema so much better when uh, i went back to learning about the first film learning about the movement from still photography to movement Correct. in camera and what that did uh, for people consuming it right you know and then to know every decade internationally through the world wars how cinema reflected on that and moved people you know uh, so i respect cinema so much more because i i could get get to know that 
So to be in such institutes gives you two things. One is professors who, who besides knowledge also give you that sense of holding of inspiration. And second is a network, you know, of your colleagues. Somebody is a DP, uh, aspiring to be a DP, DOP. Somebody is aspiring to be a writer and you're aspiring to be a director. So then you have your crew, <laughs> you know, and you have it for life. You know, so that culture is a very good thing to have. Uh, so I would encourage going to a the top five institutes researching um, or for someone like me who's not had that. Uh, during the whole lockdown, I did online courses and these are again from FTI, very cheap, 5,000, 7,000. I got the same teachers teaching me across right. three months. Right. And my first short film came out of that course, you know, because it was so encouraging that there were 12 of us, we would shoot stuff, everyone would reflect on what has been shot, you know, uh, feedback. And every time we were just doing stuff, you know, uh, storyboarding sometimes, sometimes writing a scene, sometimes just listening to sound and reflecting on it, you know, it was a very, it was a, mm, it was an energy that was being created in that momentum and it resulted in that short film. Nice. So, uh, film is a collaborative medium, you know, uh, just like music, just like a song. Right. You know, uh, you have others coming in with their inputs and, and, and you know, specialities. So, I think that's, um, that's what you will get, the culture, the encouragement, the holding um, in, in an institute. So, that's something I would go back to uh, if, if I know myself at the right age to pursue it from such an institute. Right. You know, um, and sorry, so what was, what was the other part so of the, the question? I was asking you about, say, you know, the fact that you worked in, uh, you know, fairly large setups, you know, you would have been exposed to the different departments that are there within filmmaking ah, departments. or roles that people play. So, could you <coughs> touch upon that? Yeah, so, um, uh, again, I'll say up front to, to the young minds, mm. young artists, that um, for a film to happen, uh, there are four or five key departments. Okay, direction, acting, uh, editing, writing, and camera. Okay, now you can't be, of course, if you're a Ray, if you're a Satyajit Ray, uh, you can because he would, you know, he would draw his own storyboards, he would do music, he would, he would shoot behind the camera. Okay, uh, he would get non actors to be acting, everything. <clears throat> but if you're not that as yet, uh, within these four or five things, if you can master even any two, okay, then that is good enough. Why two? Uh, because then uh, it gives you a hold on what you're trying to do. Okay. And like f for me, for example, my strengths are handling actors because I come from theater and uh, writing. Okay. I'm not good with camera, setting up a shot, framing. That's not my space. And editing is not my space, okay? okay. And I and I can't master that those things. But I know that if I'm clear about what I want from this scene, and I can tell my actor that, and and my dialogues are helping me in that space. Correct. Then other things can be helped out. You you get what I'm saying? So sure. so even to know any two, master any two, you know, then you're safe enough for others to hold you in in the other department. Is it that your your contribution becomes a little bit more holistic or, you know, I mean, as you said, filmmaking is a collaborative process. You have people, uh, professionals from different fields coming together to make something which is bigger than themselves individually. But when you know more than just one, you're able to uh, get a more balanced view or a more balanced contribution. Is, is that where you're coming from? No, I don't know about balance, but you're able to take it to where you want it to. Okay. Okay. Because... A story is open to interpretation, right? When it's on paper, right? Right. But what, 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 what do you see? Uh, an October on on paper could be could be something else if, if somebody else was to make it, right? But right. it's it's Shujit Sarkar's vision, right? Right. Uh, right. Or, or with what I am writing today, uh, it's called the the man who wanted to be forgotten. Um, if I give this script right now to let's say Raj behind the camera. Uh, he will make something else. Right. Right. So I need to be clear about what the vision for this is. 
and I have to lead the way. Right. You know, to the actor, he's looking at me. Okay, tell me. He's an empty vessel. His job is to come as an empty vessel. Correct. You know. Correct. And he's come. Tell me. I'm going to do how to do it. How to do it. How to do it. How to do it. And the only thing they appreciate is the first thing they say about a good director is he knew what he wanted. Mm. That's all. You know. So I need to know what I want. I can be open to. अच्छा यार ये भी अच्छा लग रहा है but is it what I want? Mm. So all your professionals will be looking at you. Okay, is this what you want? Right. And then they can tell you because you want this, let's do it this way. Mm. Let's shoot it this way. Let's shoot top angle. Let's shoot low angle. Let's shoot. Let's break it up like this. But you need to be clear about what you want. So that's that's what I think a director brings primarily, and he has to own the craft in, in that sense. The worst thing that can happen is a confused or a lost director. <laughs> you know, then I, then there's no captain of the ship. Yeah. And then it'll just go in all directions. It'll never finish. Correct. Or somebody from production, the producer will end up, you know, uh, getting it done somehow. Makes sense. Which is when bad films happen also, because you know that either the director was changed or like you know there was something not not clean. Hmm. Makes sense. Thanks for that. But 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 to 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 ahead, just uh, answer it more uh, let's say base level. There are departments like uh, so. Um, of course, there is the writer, the script writer. On set, there is somebody who takes over from the writer. to uh, let's say uh, who handles the script on set by handles i mean let's say briefing uh, other actors or uh, you know just listening to the dialogues because the director is looking at macro right the script supervisor is listening to the dialogues no important dialogue being missed you know um, or just just knowing that certain words which are important for the director mm. they are not forgotten or not heard things like that small things like that Right. right also rehearsing with actors you know the, the the script supervisor works very closely with the director on set <clears throat> to look at performance and things that are important from the scene drama point of view right including something like let's say action continuity uh, so so these things is let's say a script supervisor <clears throat> then of course there's somebody who will be uh, taking care of costume okay now now there is a direction team <laughs> who helps the director's vision and is the bridge between the technician who's handling that department okay so there's a costume designer right. whom the director will brief okay this right. is the look i'm looking for let's say dipika's character in piku for irfan's character for mr bachan's character correct the the the, the assistant director who's handling costume will then liaison with the costume department and show the director stuff he will lock it hmm. and then they will ensure that it reaches the actor for that scene on time and you know everything moves slowly because the director a good direction team's job is to ensure that the director is focused only on the monitor and looking at performance everything else costume gaya you know right costume continuity script pocha ke nahi this that is our job this there's a chief who's running the set on time schedule aaj ye char scene karne hai do location shift hai he has the right to tell the director you are running slow okay <laughs> he has the right the set is actually his correct he is running the set in fact that might be one of his uh, key responsibilities key responsibilities right you know he is in fact answerable to production hmm. you know because an extension of time extension of shift is a lot of money correct 8 hour 12 hour shift any extension is a lot of money correct right so th- th- that's something he needs to you can't be creatively just sitting back and you know thinking about what to say and all of that in, in most films today mm. there's a lot of money involved dates artists you know everything is pre planned to get let's say on a film like piku to get mr bachan dipika uh, irfan sir all on that day is a lot of coordination right right these are busy artists and and you want to shoot certain scenes with them therefore you budgeted uh you know certain amount of time within yeah. which you want to shoot those scenes yeah, yeah, yeah. and therefore you've gone one step further and say okay this is the costumes i need this is the production set i need so you budgeted for so that all your everything creative, goes out of whack yeah, if you're not running all your creative is to a certain extent scripting researching creative ho gaya right when it's execution you are in execution mode and we work like an army unit right we work hard 
we get, wake up at 6 we go to sleep at 12 and we are doing that for 35 days sardar rudam that jalia wala bath scene 18 to 20 days our whole team night shoots hmm. just dressing up thousand people in that costume period right and putting blood marks for vicky to pick up you know Correct. it's not easy and in blood you are in blood your hands are in blood it's it's even stressful here i can imagine you know uh, and to do that day in and day out you know so uh, so there are demands and and you know you need to hold each other in that you work like an army you know some days you don't eat you you're forgetting you have to eat you know because time is your biggest enemy on the set there's money involved and you know so uh, there's a lot to do always you know and it's huge money today so we we are quite organized you know there are softwares there's an ep scheduler there is final draft in which we write the scripts there's an ep scheduler that helps us plan those schedules are sent to artist teams those schedules are test uh, locations are blocked according to that schedule you know and we need to finish that scene those scenes in that much time so we are an army unit and and we hold each other together otherwise you're not going to get there you know uh, so it's it's a different high also and it's demanding uh, and you need to be fit uh, mentally emotionally and and you know in the families they know that okay he's on a shoot let him be right <laughs> you know uh, let me not now uh, he's he's gone from me for 30 days correct you know uh, so even family support in that and we need that i think that's amazing you know i think uh, all families that have uh their children or you know someone in the family who's involved in filmmaking they kind of sensitive to yeah. that and i yeah. think that's a uh, a big role it's an unsaid role in the success of that uh, yeah, movie yeah, yeah. you know the families the families of the people working in the movie have also supported them to make that movie come around you know Absolutely. you know so it's so Absolutely. important Absolutely. families partners uh you know parents yeah so i i think today's times are changing parents are encouraging uh, it's a lot more planned it's a lot more scheduled budgets are in place uh, and people don't know these aspects parents still don't know these these aspects to film making uh, but i can say this for a fact that today we are a lot more organized we are a lot more professional um, and 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 we work very hard yeah amazing amazing um Now the last question I I'm going to ask you is uh, how can students prepare themselves to enter the world of filmmaking can i as a student take some actions take some steps and i think to certain extent you you've answered that in the course of this uh, podcast uh, when you said go out there and uh, you know start yes, shooting so take I, up some I, online I, courses I, i'll tell you um, how i made so i made two films in the last two years short films and my first film which i'm proud of was made when i was part of this course online course mm-hmm. on filmmaking by a professor stroke filmmaker called ramni rv ramni and uh, he would just encourage us to pick up the phone and shoot something and then come back home and edit it okay that's that's where my first film started okay i was going through something called tinnitus which is a ringing sound in the ear okay a constant ringing and my first question to the to the ent doctor was doctor will i lose my ability to hear silence because that was very scary for me silence for me is important mm. and if i'm constantly hearing a ching then that's scary right so i made my film on that i recorded my uh, my doctor's appointment i i you know recorded silences with that sound you know um and it was called when my ear spoke to me okay <laughs> and the reason i called it that is because that that time i was reading a book uh louis hay and she talks about this the emotional reasons behind every disease absolutely so she's a fantastic author yeah and she talked about tinnitus 
being about related to not being able to express your voice okay it's it's this is connected to throat okay thyroid and voice and i was struggling with making my own films as my my voice so in making my film i saw the connection that my i'm suffering because i'm not expressing my voice and, and making and that film did that help you overcome that yes because i discovered that connection right film making amit is seeing interconnections it is nothing but seeing the interconnections between things when you write that is the one thing i discover that film making is seeing the interconnections i would have never known <clears throat> that uh there is an interconnection between tinnitus and my voice until i got into it because of ramni's encouragement and people love that it's it's an amateur film i i put it on this one uh, platform i can send you the link please i'd like to see um, it and i am acting in it i'm i'm talking to the camera sure that's why i told you first films begin from within right you know and it's a very honest film uh and uh, i'm proud of it i recorded myself talking to camera i edited it i recorded that interview and um, yeah so i don't know what your question was sorry no no uh, you know you actually were answering that yeah, yeah. Right? about how, how do you prepare uh, yourself you uh, prepare yourself and so, uh, going out there you know just start sh- go out there pick up your mobile shoot a, a, a yeah, specific yeah, something yeah yeah and, and, and don't and try it, and yeah. make it perfect right let it be raw Right. Show us the raw part of you. That's right. when something new will come out. Uh, that's what I enjoy. Also, you know, something unexpected, raw, not perfect. Right. You know, so let it be raw. Make I. I am happy to see, any one of you make a film after this. I am happy to see it. Wow. And reflect back to you what it gives me. And let it be as raw as as imperfect. but make something that in itself will give you a lot and then of course some people want to be actors some people want to be writers screen writers wo sab zariya hai you know if we go too much into that to lamba ho jayega but you know we can talk actors ke liye acche institutes hai um writing ke liye acche professors hain screen writing sw mein member bano you know where you register your scripts don't right. narrate your script to anyone until you've registered them right protect yourself protect your baby mm. and yeah connect with the right people and dive yeah dive this is the age you can experiment this is the age you can discover uh, there's not much to lose you know one of the things that most people at the age of 70 and 80 tell uh, you know looking back is i wish i would have lived more for myself mm. i would have spent my time pursuing more of me and this is the age when you can make the mistakes that's amazing i think it's been a fantastic conversation tushar and thanks so much for making time in your schedule for coming here i i hope you've enjoyed this episode um you know it's is something that we really enjoy doing uh taking up a specific question that students have and answering that in the course of the podcast and if you like what you see uh, i'd encourage you to subscribe and uh, to our youtube channel and also follow us on podcast platforms like apple google and spotify our handle is the zista podcast 